Can you believe that Uncle Marco told off his daddy and then ran upstairs with Auntie Langston? Yeah, it was such a scene. <laughs> Dorian and her mea culpa. I can't believe Marco's dad wasn't impressed. Are you kidding me? He kicked Marco out of the house. Where's he gonna go? You didn't hear? For now, he's gonna be staying at your Aunt Vicky's. I think your Aunt Vicky felt bad for hanging Dorian out to dry. Yeah, after saying no to the dinner party? Yeah, she was probably just trying to make up for it. But still, that's gotta be kind of weird for Marco. Well, why? My Aunt Vicky likes helping people. Gigi and Shane have stayed in the carriage house for months, and whenever David comes to visit, he usually stays in the West Wing. Yeah, but Marco barely knows that. And plus, with everything that's been going on with his parents, he must feel like, I don't know, a refugee. I mean, we had sex one time, and this is what happens. Uh, uh, no, this little girl is what happens after having S-E-X one time. Do you know how long it's been since Marco and I have been together? Two months. Try waiting a year and a half and then talk to me. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Cleaning up is... Uh, it's so cool. When do you start community service? Uh, tomorrow. Do you know what you're going to be doing? Nope, not yet. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure it's a lot safer than prison. <laughs> Well, um, I gotta go, so, bye. Oh, beautiful. Say hi to Marco for me. Yep. So, did John tell you anything about your undercover assignment? He's, uh, setting me up in an apartment. What? You're getting your own apartment? That's great. Hoping I can move in and we can all live together. We could put her to bed every single night if we lived together. We could do whatever we wanted. We could be a little family. Wouldn't that be amazing? Mm -hmm. I want that too, but not like this. Oh, <laughs> well, why not? It doesn't have to be perfect. It'll be ours. But Star, it won't be me living there. It'll be whoever the cops want me to be. I, I can't have you and Hope in the middle of all that. It's too dangerous. Besides, you know, you're, you're all set up here. You've got your family, all the stuff you need for the baby. I mean, look, look at all this stuff. <laughs> it, would, it would take a moving truck to move her out of here. I just wish we could all be together.